Hey guys, today we're going to be going over all the settings on a Dixer controller for an Atosa unit. Um, this is going to be for a refrigerator, so um, I'm just going to point out a couple things. So T1 and T2, uh, this is not an error code, it's just a startup sequence. It'll let it do its thing, it'll eventually just show you the temperature and it'll start working. Um, now we are going to go into the second uh, level of settings for this. and. One thing to note, you do have to do this a little bit quick. Uh, if you take more than about three to five seconds to, to hit any button, it's going to time out on you. It'll shoot you right back to the, the regular display, which is this, just your temperature. Um, now, you, this is this is something that's going to be needed to be done. If you ever have a power outage, if you move your unit and plug it into a different outlet, it could you know disrupt the settings. So just go ahead and go through all of these. Um, if we do send somebody out to to do this for you, um, that's not covered under warranty, so you wouldn't be paying out of pocket. It's much easier to just do it yourself. Um, so let's get started. So to get into the settings, we're going to be holding down the set button and the down arrow together until it says HY. Once we are there, you let them go, hold them down again, this time for about 10 seconds. It'll say L2. And then once you let go, it'll say H dot Y. So once you're there, you're going to use the set button to navigate. So H Y should be set to six. This is for refrigerators or freezers. L S for a refrigerator should be set to 32. Um, if it's not, you can use the arrows to change the values. But we're going to move on. U S or U5 should be set to 41. There we go. So O T. Uh, that's a that's just an setting that should be just set to zero. Um, this comes into play if there's an issue with the probe, but there isn't. So P2, we're going to be at N because we don't have a secondary probe in a refrigerator. OE should be set to zero on this since we still don't have that probe. OD, we're going to have set to two. So once set it at two, hit the set button, it'll blink and lock it in. AC should be set to 5, and CY should be set to 15, CN should be set to 30, CF is going to be at uh, OF or uh, Fahrenheit, this is between Celsius and Fahrenheit. RE, uh, we're just going to go ahead and leave it at IN, this shouldn't change. LD, it's going to show you P1, DY, going to be at 1. DE, this is your defrost termination temperature. That should be set to 85 no matter what unit it is. Uh, DO, again, no matter what unit, should be set to 29. ID, this is the length between defrost cycles. That's going to be set to 4 hours for any GR unit. And D, is going to be set to 45 for any GR unit. DF, that one's just going to stay at IT. This doesn't need to change. F.1 should be at OY for any GR units. CY for any non-GR. F2 is going to be at ON for any GR. CN for any non-GR units. FD, we're going to have uh, set to 2. This, no matter what kind of unit it is. F5, the that's going to be the temperature for the fan to stop. Should be set to 99. This is regardless of unit. FN should be at 1. Again, no matter what kind of unit it is. FF is going to be to 3 rather than 5. And once again, locks it in. Moves on to the next one. AU, that's going to be our high temperature alarm. So it should be set to 99. AL, that's going to be our low temperature alarm. That's going to be at minus 67. Uh, AD, that's going to be set to 60. DA should be set to 90. IP, that's going to be for your doors, should be at CL. IF, once again, it's for the doors, should be at EL. This is for the actual alarm for it. Uh, DI should be set to 5. DC should be set to FN, uh, regardless of units. And last but not least, RD should be set to Y. 
Uh, once you get through these, you're going to see D1 and D2. These are not settings. These are readout only. So this will tell you what the, the probe is actually reading. D2, no probe, because this is a refrigerator that doesn't need a secondary probe. Once you go through all this, you can actually just leave it alone. It'll reset on its own after about 15 seconds. Or you can hold down the set button and hit the up arrow. Um, so anytime that your unit is a little bit warmer than, than it needs to be, you have it set to, to the 30s, maybe it's in the 40s, um, it's good to go through these. Sometimes somebody comes by and messes with it a little bit, throws off the, the cycle.